Hi everyone, I'm Elion from DuckMaker.co and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create loops and add lines into a table in your PDF documents uh, with DuckMaker using our new plugin, DuckMaker Easy PDF Creator. So you may want to add, add loops um, in, in your documents for example, when you need to add lines, uh, so here we have an invoice template. And in this table, um, I will have the invoice lines. And I want to add lines for each item uh, in my order, in my invoice, uh, with information, different information on each line for each line item. So the way it works, we have a specific syntax um, at DocMaker for, for this kind of loops. The loops in the template is materialized by uh, this tag here. So uh, a loop starts with a hashtag uh, inside curly braces um, with the variable names being lines and it ends with slash lines. So always use the curly braces and inside the curly braces slash and uh, the name of your uh, tag so here it's lines so this is how we create the loop so everything between those two tags uh, hashtag lines and slash lines will be repeated uh, as many times as we have uh, lines of data um, and here you can see that inside the loop i'm going to repeat this tag, the description, the price, the quantity, and the sum. So everything between those two uh, tags will be repeated and lines will be added to the table. So I've, I've added the, uh, the outline, the border on, on the table, which is uh, not necessary. But anyway, this was just to show you what it looks like uh, to create a loop. So once you have created your template with the loops inside, uh, you can go ahead to your DocMaker dashboard. So here I have opened this one and upload your template. For this demo, I'm going to use this template, which is a sample template that we provide in DocMaker. And once you upload your template to DocMaker, as we've seen on the first video, I, I really recommend that you have a look at the first video um, to learn how to use uh, DocMaker. And then this video is only about uh, creating loops. So once you've uploaded your template with the loop, uh, DocMaker will automatically create the JSON with tags. We've seen it the last time. And uh, we've used this button to copy the JSON and paste it uh, inside um, inside JSON data in the create PDF from DocX template action. So we've already pasted um, the JSON here, and we're going to work on this loop here. So uh, first of all, just for uh, everyone to be on the same page, uh, a quick explanation about JSON and what JSON loops are. So here's my JSON file um, that I have copied and pasted into a, a visual editor. Here is the, the lines loop. And in JSON, a loop is always between square brackets. So you can see the pink square brackets here opening and ending the loop in the JSON data. And this is one uh, object inside the lines array. Um, it's called an array in JSON, but it's actually a loop. So inside the lines loop, this is my first um, object. And let's say that this is uh, object one. The price is uh, $10 maybe. Quantity is one and the sum is 10. Okay, so this is one line. So this will create one line in my uh, document. Now, if I want to add the second line, I will just add a comma here after the first object and paste the second one. And this will be my second object. So this is how you create loops in, uh, in JSON. This would be 40. So this is my first line here between curly braces, and this is my second line. So that is what we have to recreate uh, inside Bubble. So incrementing adding objects uh, in the lines array 
uh, in the lines uh, loop. So if we go back to Bubble, uh, Bubble has a very easy way to do that. We're going to select the object, uh, the line item object inside the lines array. I'm going to cut it. Here I'm going to select the data by doing a search. So I'm going to search. What I want to display is the other items. And I want to display only the order number equal to order one. Okay, so I'm selecting the other items uh, which have this order number, order one. Okay, and here I'm going to use this great tool offered by Bubble, format as text, and this will automatically create the loop. So I just have to paste here my uh, JSON object, the same uh, one I showed you here, which represents one line. And I'm going to say that the delimiter is a comma, and that's it. Just with this, Bubble will automatically add objects to the JSON, as many objects as I will have uh, other items in my search. And here, so always inside the quotation marks, I'm going to insert my data so I can access this order item. And this is the description, so I'm going to use this order items item name. Here I'm going to insert price, so item price. Here I want to have the quantity. Okay, and here I'm going to need a small calculation, so it's going to be price times quantity. And that's it. I probably have to add a dollar sign somewhere. Let's have a look at the template. Uh, I do not have the dollar sign um, in front of unit price. I do have it uh, in the sum, so I'm just going to add it here. Um, just call the price. Okay. And that's it. Just with this, the loop is created both in the template and in the data. And Bubble knows that it has to create as many uh, objects as I have uh, other items. And that's good. So let's go ahead and test it. So this is my test page. Uh, on the demo app that you can, uh, of course, also uh, access. And so this is the table corresponding to the data that we've selected. So it's all the other items for order one. And I'm just going to run DocMaker. And the document is created. Now I'm going to open it. And that's great. You see that all three lines uh, have been added. So I didn't add all the sums etc but you can see that uh, we do have the right amount um, for each line and we have added lines to our template remember we had only one line in the template but DocMaker has automatically incremented the lines uh, in my table um, for each uh, invoice line item and that's it that's how you can create loops with DocMaker I hope that uh, this was clear and don't hesitate to contact us for any question at support at .co. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.